What's up, y'all? We're in the Neurology Rounds Room where we discuss all of our neural cases here at vet school. What's good, y'all? I heard you trying to get into vet school. Word around here is I can help you out with that. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to get veterinary experience because, hey, if you're gonna get into vet school, you're gonna to need to have veterinary experience. All right, y'all, let's buckle down. So, in general, most vet school, in fact, I'm pretty sure most vet schools require you to have at least some amount of veterinary experience to get accepted. Now, in general, this usually differs between schools. Here at the University of Georgia, which I'm currently attending, that requirement is 250 hours to get accepted, minimum. So that's all you have to have to meet the requirements. You can have more, but you can't have less. <laughs> so if you're trying to get into vet school, make sure you go to their website and click on you know, what they're required to apply and find out exactly how many hours that is required to get accepted into that school. Now, important key distinction, I'm pretty sure this is a fake school. A key distinction to getting these veterinary hours is that they have to be under the direct supervision of a veterinarian. That means not cleaning kennels at a place that does dogs or just walking dogs. Like it has to be under the direct supervision of a veterinarian, depending on what you do. Now, oftentimes there comes into a debate about where you should get all of your hours to apply to vet school. Should you get them all at your regular veterinarian's practice? Should you try to get multiple experiences? And in general, I would say that if it was up to me, I would try to get hours at as many different types of veterinary experiences as possible, as many different types of clinics and different things. So for me personally, I got most of my experience at a small animal general practice clinic, but I also got experience working with two large animal veterinarians in Tennessee. So it pretty much gave me, you know, it gave me a different perspective on the vet field. It gave me a new look into how different vets work. Um, and just gave me more experience overall. And I think vet school is really like that if you get experience at more than just one place. And I don't think it's wrong to get all of your experience at that one practice. So say you're in good with one practice and say you're working for that practice. I don't think it's wrong to get all of your experience hours there, but you might wanna think about diversifying just a little bit, you know, see if there's another clinic that'll let you shadow there, see if you can find a different type of ex veterinary experience that'll let you shadow and things like that. And another key point I wanna make known to you guys is that in general, for most vet schools that you apply to, you're going to to need more than one veterinarian's letter of recommendation. So if you get all of your hours of experience at just one vet clinic, that means you might only have one letter of recommendation. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna want at least a couple different vets to write your good letter of recommendation to get into the vet schools. Now, the reason I'm making this video is for you peeps out there that have a hard time getting veterinary experience. I myself actually struggled with this. Um, coming out of high school, I had no veterinary experience at all. It's another point. You don't have to get all of your experience in high school. You know, there's plenty of time in college to get experience. So coming out of high school, I had no experience at all. And I was definitely extremely social, sociably, sociably, I was extremely sociably shy, very shy very introverted, very nervous person. And the thought of going up to a general practice and asking to shadow them or anything like that pretty much scared me to death, believe it or not. It was just the thought of being turned away, the thought of failure that just utterly, completely put me off in the whole experience. And honestly, I lost a lot of chances that I otherwise would have had if I had, you know, stuck my foot out there, stuck my neck out there and asked to shadow at some place. I remember at the beginning of the summer after my freshman year of college, still hadn't gotten zero experience, zilch, nada. And I remember sitting in my room and thinking, oh my gosh, I have no veterinary experience. I have no connections to any vets. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get any veterinary experience. I remember having thoughts that I was probably not gonna get into vet school. I remember thinking that vividly. It's vivid in my mind, just sitting there, utterly defeated. And honestly, that wasn't a good thing. <laughs> I really thought that there was no way I was gonna get any experience and there was no way I was gonna get into vet school just because I had no connections at all. But you wanna know what I did. I sucked it up. I walked into my local veterinary clinic, didn't know anybody. I went up there and I said, hey, my name is Andrew Woods. It's nice to meet you. I'm interested in getting a veterinary experience. Someday I may want to be a veterinarian. Do you guys offer shadowing practice here? That's all you gotta do, guys. That's all you gotta do. There's some lights on in here. Can y'all see me better? Oh yeah, that's good. Seriously though, if you're a shy person, if you're worried about being rejected, just stop. Take those thoughts out of your head. 
go up to those practices or in your area go up to them ask them if you can shadow i mean even if you're socially awkward just look them up online go online do 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 look up your practices and just send them an email you know explaining who you are what you're trying to do and seeing if they offer you know people to come and shadow it's really not that hard now if you really want to get in good what you can do is even if you're in high school, even if it's the beginning of college, you can send them or have a printout readily available when you go in to meet them. You can have a printout of you know a short resume saying any experiences, any job experiences or experiences you've had in the past yet. And if you didn't, that's okay. Um, and you can also write just a little cover letter as well going over all those things. Just in case you go up to that clinic and you're like, Hey, um, can I talk to the doctor here? I just kind of want to know if I want a shadow. Instead of looking like that dude, you can go up in there and being like, what's up y'all? My name is Andrew Woods. I would love to shadow here if you guys offer that. Here is a short resume and cover letter explaining who I am and what I'm about and what I want to do. Please pass this along to the nearest veterinarian and have them get back to me at such and such number, blah, 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 blah. Boom. Killed it. You finna be rolling at vet experience, you hear me? So get out there, get your veterinary experience, and let's get into vet school. Just wanna say I'm not sponsored by vet school. They're not paying for me, I'm paying for them, but you get the point. But for real though, most vets are pretty nice. Most vets are gonna allow you to come and chat with their practice, and even if they don't, that's okay. Even if the first place you go to rejects you, there's plenty of other vet clinics. There's definitely other opportunities out there for you. So yeah, try to mix it up. Try to get different veterinary experiences at different places. Maybe shadow a large animal veterinarian and a small animal veterinarian. Hey, there's plenty of programs at zoos. If you live near a zoo, you can go, you know, try it out. Get out there, get creative, find your local vets, make connections, get into vet school. All right, my dogs, I'll see y'all next week. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me, I'll be here weekly. You know where I'm at. Let's get into vet school. Let's get this bread. Let's get this bread. Let's get this bread. Yo, for real though, vet school's kind of nice. We got our own personal fridges up in here, y'all. Like, okay.